Is the Acura ZDX Type S worth your attention? At first glance, it may blend in with other electric SUVs in a parking lot, with its design subtly resembling a hearse. However, beneath its exterior, the ZDX is built on the General Motors Ultium architecture, which it shares with the Cadillac Lyric, Chevy Blazer, Equinox EVs, and Honda Prologue. Inside, GM's influence extends to the aesthetics, user interface, charging experience, and power delivery. Although partnering with GM may have expedited Acura's first EV to market, the question remains. Does this sporty electric SUV justify the haste, and does it live up to the Acura badge? Remember the first Acura ZDX? The original ZDX made its debut in 2009, combining elements of an SUV, coupe, and sedan. However, its unique design led to limited sales, with just over 7,000 units sold before Acura discontinued it in 2013, making it one of the rarest Acuras ever. Now, the ZDX returns, this time as an all-electric vehicle with several firsts for the company. Acura ZDX, a spec versus Type S. All 2024 Acura ZDX models come with a 102 kilowatt hour battery pack. However, the rear wheel drive, RWD, a spec model offers the longest range, achieving 313 miles on a single charge, compared to 304 miles for the all wheel drive, AWD, a spec, and 278 miles for the Type S. The RWD single motor A spec delivers 358 horsepower and 324 lbft of torque, while the Type S boasts 499 horsepower and 544 lbft of torque, the highest torque ever in a production Acura. The Type S also features notable enhancements like large yellow Brembo brake calipers, 22 inch wheels, the largest ever on an Acura, and distinctive Type S badging on the charge port flap, steering wheel, headrests, and rear gate living with the ZDX Type S. The 2024 Acura ZDX Type S is ideal for first-time EV owners and those new to the Acura brand. If your home is equipped for level 2 charging and your budget allows for the Type S over the A-Spec ZDX, you'll likely be very satisfied with your purchase. For those with a more discerning taste for sporty SUVs or EVs, the ZDX Type S offers a mostly pleasing experience. It features sharp looks, a comfortable interior, and generally accommodates spirited driving. However, there are some drawbacks. Route planning with the onboard Android navigation can be finicky, particularly when aiming to reach a charging stop with a specific state of charge, SOC. Additionally, the ZDX does not display the battery's SOC as a numeric percentage while driving. You must be parked, actively charging, or use the Acura mobile app on your smart device to view SOC. Otherwise, you'll need to estimate based on the remaining miles or the stylized fuel gauge. Overall, the Acura ZDX Type S presents a compelling option for those entering the EV market and looking for a sporty, stylish SUV, despite a few minor inconveniences. For an SUV with such played-out proportions, we hope the interior would do more to dazzle us. Instead, the General Motors' influence is overwhelming. We were left wondering why the Chevrolet Blazer EV gets sportier air vents and infotainment screen shapes than the ZDX Type S. We also pondered the placement of the drive mode button. Instead of a rotary dial prominently fixed to the center stack a la the Acura MDX, the new ZDX has the button hidden by the driver's left knee like Harry Potter under the staircase. The material quality and design of the front seats is worthy of praise, and anyone occupying the rear seats should find plenty of overhead clearance for a 6-foot frame, plus a solid amount of footroom. The Type S hearse-like silhouette also makes for an appreciable amount of rear cargo space, especially with the back seats folded forward. Looking past the gripes, Acura Watch 360 Plus, you might know it as GM Super Cruise, did a commendable job of centering the car within lanes, executing lane changes, and not jerking us onto unwanted exit ramps. We also give glowing marks to another Acura first, the collaboration with Bang & Olufsen on the speaker array within the ZDX Type S. How does it drive? Electric cars are known for instantaneous power delivery. All of it. All at once. Just stab the go pedal. The 2024 Acura ZDX Type S does not launch from a standstill quite like other vehicles in its class. Where some electric SUVs will punch you squarely back into your seat, 
The ZDX Type S supplies its 499 horses and 544 LBFD of twist with a good-natured shove after a split-second hesitation. It appears to have more giddy-up accelerating from 20 miles per hour and even 30 and 40 than from a cold stop, and perhaps that was the goal. The ZDX Type S will reach 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, plenty quick for everyday applications. It's quicker than the AWD Cadillac Lyric, 4.8 seconds, the AWD Acura ZDX A spec, 5.4 seconds, and even the Tesla Model Y long range, 4.4 seconds. For anyone who has closed course plans for their ZDX Type S, it'll dispatch the quarter mile in 12.7 seconds at 113.3 miles per hour and keep accelerating until its limited top speed of 130. Those big yellow Brembo calipers earn their keep reeling in nearly 6,000 pounds of SUV from 60 miles per hour to nothing in 113 feet. That's right on par with the Ford Mustang Mach-E 4X GT, 112 feet, and the Tesla Model Y, 118 feet. Although the ZDX Type S has some impressive clamping force you can truly feel through the pedal, the brakes overheated quickly when we repeated our panic stops. Opting for the A-Spec trim adds about 18 feet to your panic braking distance with no change to the quick heat buildup. The ZDX Type S also boasts the longest wheelbase of any Acura, and it struts its stuff a bit more in the twists. It shows off its adaptive air suspension, a carryover from MDX that conveniently meshed with the Ultium skateboard architecture, its unique, quicker steering ratio, 15.9 versus the A-Spec's 18.4, and its pair of stouter anti-roll bars. Add in the 275-4022 inch Continental Premium Contact 6 tires, and the Type S was adequately equipped to corner to the tune of 0.86G on average, a noticeably grippier figure than the ZDX A-Spec on smaller, more all-purpose tires, 0.78G. We found the Type S became a bit more playful exiting turns after we flicked and poked our way through the touchscreen menus to disable traction control. Charging EV owners who have their homes equipped for level 2 charging should expect to add about 30 miles of range to their batteries every hour the ZDX Type S is plugged into its 240-volt source. When connected to a DC fast charger, Acura claims the Type S will pull a maximum of 190 kilowatts. Here, we'd normally report on how the ZDX Type S behaved when connected to a publicly available DC fast charger while noting its charging curve, time required to achieve a full charge, and further diving into its real-world range, among other things. We tried to charge multiple times using Electrify America's EA 350 kW receptacles and experienced curiously low rates. Our Type S ramped up and briefly accepted power at about 170 kW before dropping sharply and stabilizing at 30 kW. Other attempts peaked similarly before dropping below 100 kW. Connecting to EA 150 kW DC fast charging stations resulted in more reliable charging behavior. Acura and EA cited isolated heat-related issues with the EA charging banks and the charging hardware aboard the Type S. Ambient temperatures were in the mid-90s. Final thoughts. Lifelong Acura fans might have some soul-searching to do before bringing home a 2024 ZDX Type S. First, is it worth it? Stepping up to Type 